Welcome to Centerpoint, the national online video magazine for innovative educators. I'm Kelly Davis. And I'm Kwame Riggs. In this episode of Centerpoint, we're going to take a look at copyright solutions via Creative Commons. We're going to discuss the six different types of usage licenses you can obtain from Creative Commons. And the different layers of those licenses. But first, we're going to shuffle on over to Kwame's educational man cave to get some basic info on Creative Commons. I have a man cave? You do now. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Did you know that in addition to copyright, you can license your content for distribution through a Creative Commons license? Creative Commons allows for your content, whether it's a written work, song, audio recording, video, photograph, or other form of art to be shared with others while giving you credit. To understand how it works, let's look at copyright. When you create content, the work is automatically copyrighted to you. Copyright protects your content from being used without your permission. Creative Commons actually builds upon copyright and allows you to have flexibility with how your work is distributed. Let's say you wrote a paper. This paper would be protected by copyright, thus requiring others to contact you for permission to use your paper. However, what if you wanted your paper to be shared for the benefit of giving knowledge to others? What if you didn't want to be contacted each time someone wanted to use your paper, but you still wanted to be credited for what you wrote? This is where Creative Commons comes in. By using a Creative Commons license, you are allowing your work to be shared while receiving credit. One of the most recognizable uses of a Creative Commons license is Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia. Other Creative Commons uses include Peer-to-Peer -peer University or P2PU, which is an educational initiative that provides learning resources, and Flat World Knowledge, a commercial publisher of free and openly licensed textbooks. You can check out Creative Commons at creativecommons.org. Now you know. Creative Commons actually provides six different license types. The most adaptable is an attribution license. This allows for your work to be distributed, remixed, and built upon and requires you to be given credit for the original creation. It is denoted by CCBY. The Attribution Share Alike license is the one used by Wikipedia. It allows for others to adapt your work, but requires that you receive credit and any derivatives created from your work are used in the same manner as your creation. This is noted by CCBYSA. If you want your work to be distributed, but want it to only be done in its entirety without any changes, then you may want to consider an Attribution No Derives license, characterized by CCBYND. These three licenses also allow for commercial use of your work, but if you desire to share your creation non-commercially, then you may want to consider one of the non-commercial licenses. The non-commercial licenses are the same as the ones we just talked about, except with a non-commercial clause added to protect your work from being used commercially. Creative Commons can work with copyright and commercial agreements you may have in place, but before you license a work, check to see if your agreement is exclusive or not. If you wrote an article for a publisher and signed an agreement giving that publisher exclusive rights, then you would need to get their permission before you license the content on your own. If your agreement is non-exclusive, then you are most likely eligible to license the content in any way you desire. Also, if you create a work while working for an employer and during working hours, check to see if the employer would own the copyright to your work or if you would. Seek legal counsel if you are unsure. Each of the Creative Commons licenses has three layers that make up the license. When you look at a Creative Commons license, you will see a box with symbols and letters depicting the license type. However, there's more to this story. The first layer is actually made up of legal code, written in language and text formats that attorneys understand. The next layer is referred to as the common deed. The common deed is what creators, educators, and most people can read. 
Through its symbols and letters, it serves as a quick reference guide to licensors and licensees to see what is and is not allowed with a work that carries a Creative Commons license. The third layer is a machine-readable version, which enables search engines, software systems, and other technologies to be able to read the license. It is this layer that helps the web to know and understand what a Creative Commons license is. This layer actually follows a markup language called CC Rights Expression Language, or CCREL, which is a standardized way for the license to be read. Because of this layer design, users are able to find images or items that are licensed under Creative Commons. You can search the Creative Commons website at creativecommons.org, or you can search under Creative Commons on Google and other sites such as Flickr. And that about wraps up this edition of Centerpoint. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And remember, drop in, log on, and learn. Kwame out. Kelly out. What?